Hello, and welcome to Parasoft JTest Unit Test Assistant. Today, you'll be installing and setting up your Eclipse IDE to use JTest and the Unit Test Assistant. First, you will install JTest into Eclipse, then activate the trial, and finally, launch the Unit Test Assistant views. So let's go ahead and get started. You should have already downloaded JTest and unzipped it on your system. To install JTest into your Eclipse IDE, click the Help menu option, then click Install New Software. In the dialog, click on the Add button, then click on Archive. In the File Browser dialog, locate the JTest plugin zip on your file system. It will be located in the unzipped JTest directory, then Integration, then the Eclipse directory. Select the plugin zip, and then click Open. And finally, Add. The plugin will be added to the available software dialog. Check the box next to the plugin name and click Next. Be sure to follow the remaining steps in Eclipse to complete the plugin installation. Once installed, you'll need to restart Eclipse. After Eclipse has restarted, the Parasoft plugin will ask if you'd like to send usage information to us so that we can continue to improve JTest based on your usage of the tool. Next, you'll need to activate the trial. To do that, let's go into the Parasoft preferences by clicking on the Parasoft menu option, then clicking Preferences. In the dialog, expand the arrow next to Parasoft. Here we find several sections where Parasoft preferences can be set for JTest. Let's continue to activate the trial by expanding License, and then click on Activation Code. Enter the email address where you receive the code, and then the activation code itself, and click Redeem Code. A valid email and activation code pair is required to activate the trial. If you have any issues while redeeming the activation code, please contact Parasoft. While we're here, let's check the Unit Test Assistant preferences by clicking on Unit Test Assistant. There are several preferences that can be modified as needed. Now is a good time to review these preferences and change them based on your testing needs. You can also restore the default settings if needed. Remember to apply those settings to save them. To leverage the power of the Unit Test Assistant, you will need to interact with several different views, which will provide you with useful information about the code as you write and execute your tests. The Parasoft views are conveniently available in the JTest perspective. Launch the perspective by clicking on the Parasoft menu option, then click Open JTest Perspective. The Unit Test Assistant view at the bottom is a real-time, context-aware view that dynamically changes based on the code that you're interacting with. This view contains certain unit testing actions that can be performed to help you unit test your code. The Recommendations view will contain recommendations made by the Unit Test Assistant to help you improve your tests and address common testing issues. This view will populate with recommendations after unit tests have been executed. You can interact with the Recommendations view to quickly apply updates to your tests. The Coverage view displays code coverage information for a particular project, package, file, or even method once tests have been executed. 
This view will help you identify gaps in your code coverage based on your tests. And finally, the impacted unit tests view identifies and runs an optimized suite of tests based on local code changes. There you go. Your initial setup is done and you've activated your JTest trial. Your unit test journey has just begun. Thanks for watching.